Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a funny Friday with art impression stamps to create a heart glider with an adorable you wearing some high heel shoes. This is the stamp set from Art Impressions and it has several types of sheep that are doing funny things. They are either laughing or holding balloons, but I was really taken by the you with high heels. This does have a matching die set that you can use along with your stamped images and it features all the sheep and also some of the smaller pieces such as party hats and bow ties. I'll be using a piece of 80 pound Nina White cardstock and I'll be adding a layer of some of my pattern paper on top just to create a nice firm base for the slider element. To put this onto my paper, I'm going to use some of the Simon Says Stamp glue stick and I'll just apply this all over the white cardstock and I want to make sure I get into all the corners and the center. This will give me a really great hold for two layers of paper. And once you have all the glue onto your white cardstock, just line up your pattern paper to the corner and then you can press it down with your hand, just giving it a nice smooth wiping over the top. I also like to flip this over and press also on the back side to make sure that I don't have any bowing of the paper. And to stamp my image, I'm using Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink because it's very compatible with Copic markers that I'll be coloring with. And then I can cut my paper down and use the coordinating die and I'll put this right over top. It is a really nice tight fitting die so you make sure that you have it lined up really well before you die cut it. My coloring is quite simple. I'm using several tones of the gray Copic markers and I'm concentrating those colors around the outer edges. I want to make sure that my sheep stays quite white, but I want to emphasize some of those shadows. Then I can go in with some brown tones and color the sheep's face along with her legs. And then I can go in with a little bit darker brown and give her some shadowing. I'm using a prawn color red for her high heel shoes, which will match my background paper once I'm done. I'm adding a stencil tone on tone color and I'm using some of the Simon Says Stamp blush ink along with our new brushes and the heart chain stencil. And I'm gonna concentrate some of my color over where it's darker on the cardstock and blend it out towards the lighter parts of the paper. And now I'm ready to die cut my panel with the heart slider die and I'm placing a piece of tape so that it won't shift while I'm die cutting it. And once I have this die cut, I wanna be really gentle in removing my tape and that panel. The heart is only hanging on by a little piece at the top center. So I wanna make sure that I don't rip that away. I'm stamping a message in the center of that heart area and I'm just placing my sheep to where I want to have my positioning and then I have my stamp in my MISTI. And I'm stamping this with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink for a nice crisp image. One of the things I like to do to smooth all my edges, I have a simple emery board and I'm just going to go along all the edges of the rail where the glider is going to have contact. And to put the glider in place, you're going to want to feed the paper in between the channels of the glider and then you can feed the second piece in place. And I like to use a piece of low tech tape to hold everything in place until I get my foam pieces cut and everything mounted to my card. So I'm adding some foam tape and I'm making sure I'm staying clear of the rails and allowing plenty of room so that glider has room to slide around. For the card base, I'm using a Simon Says Stamp top folding A2 card and I've added another panel of some pattern paper and I think this will look really cute underneath. So the next thing I'll want to do is to remove the backing of the foam strips and then I can place it on top of my note card. By having my low tech tape there, I've held that heart in place so that that glider has a really even channel to move around. I have die cut additional shapes of the U and I've stacked those together so this is like a piece of chipboard. And to glue these together I'll just add some dots of white glue. Then I like to pounce the glue a little bit with a paper towel to make sure I don't have any large puddles. Then I can line up my stamped image on top of my die cut pieces for a nice sturdy slider element. And one last thing I like to do to make sure that my glider glides around really nicely is to use a powder tool. You can use the brush type or even a pouch bag. And I'm just going to add a little bit of powder around the paper edges to make sure everything moves freely. 
And to attach my U to the glider piece, I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and just making sure that I have plenty on top. And then I'll position this down to the center just so I can make sure that I have her centered on that glider. And once I'm happy with it, I'll press that down and let that dry completely. To finish my card off, I've added a couple of sentiment strips that say I love you and also some die cut hearts. The white on black sentiment strips really match well with that background paper that you can see through the heart die. I love how her placement, she can have her feet on top and be kind of spinning around and having a good time. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for Funny Friday using Art Impression stamps. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.